I'm going to show you how to make a hangman game using a programming language called Visual Basic for applications, or VBA for short. Before I do, you should know what it is you're trying to achieve. So here's a game I created earlier. This is my user interface. It's a form with some controls on it. When you build your user interface, you can make it look much more interesting than this, but I've kept mine nice and simple for now. I have a command button which has the caption New Game. And when I click on the command button, a message box is displayed. The message box is one way that my program can output something. Here I can see a string of text which is telling me that the word I have to guess has got three letters. So I'll dismiss the message box and I can see that that string of text has also appeared on a label on the form. There's another label down here telling me where I can input my guess. This is called a text box. So let's try a C. I happen to know that these are animals. But it doesn't seem to be a cat. Another message box has appeared and there's a string of text telling me that I've lost a life. Let's try something else. Let's try D for dog. I've just lost another life. I happen to know that I've got five lives to start with. Perhaps it's a bat. Let's try B for bat. That's three lives down. Have I tried a C yet? I think I have, but I've just lost another life. Maybe it's a bat. Let's try an A. I've tried that already, haven't I? Oh. There's an A in position two. Maybe a K? At position three, I have absolutely no idea what this is. But I've just lost my last life and the game is over. Of course, the word was yak. Let's play again. Your word has six letters. I'll start with a D. Correct. Letter at position one. I think I know what this is. O. At position two. N. D O N. K. These messages are looking good. And finally. Correct. Letter at position six. You win. You guessed correctly. It was a donkey. So that's how the game works. Next, I'm going to show you how to build this user interface.